I will show you how to install Shad CN UI using React, JavaScript, and Vite. This is an update to a previous video that I made since a couple of things have changed since that last video. To get started, copy and run this command inside your project. For the project name, I will type in a period so that it creates in the current directory. Select React. For the variant, select JavaScript. Run npm install. Going back to the documentation, the second step is to add Tailwind CSS. Copy and run this command. The next step is we need to replace all of the contents of index.css with this command here. So copy this and then open index.css and just replace everything with this. The next step is to create this file, but because we're using JavaScript and not TypeScript, we can just name this file jsconfig.json. Going back to my project, I created a new file called jsconfig.json. We can copy the code here paste into the file and just delete these lines of code, save the file. And this is what it should look like now. Going back to the documentation, we can skip the next step and then go to step number five, copy this command, run the command inside our terminal, copy the code for the vite.config.ts file here. But because we're using JavaScript, ours is named vite.config.js instead and just paste in what we just copied. The next step is to copy this command here, run it inside terminal, select any of the colors. I would just do neutral. Because I'm using React 19, I see this error message. We can select either option. I would just do the first one for now. And now we have successfully installed Shad CN UI. We can easily test everything is working as expected by going back to the docs, copy this command, run it inside our terminal. Just like before, we'll just use the use force option. Open the app.jsx file, copy this code block, and just paste it in. Now we can run a React app by typing in npm run dev, and we should now see this button component here. If you see this, that means you successfully installed Shad CN using React, JavaScript, and Vite. That is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please like the video, and don't forget to subscribe for more content.